Hello my dear students, myself Meenu Srivastava and today we are going to discuss about the pentose phosphate pathway or the hexose monophosphate shunt. Okay, so it's a synonym hexose monophosphate shunt, hexose monophosphate pathway or you can say it's a pentose phosphate pathway also. It's an alternative pathway in the, uh, it's an alternative pathway uh, for the glycolysis and the TCA cycle. Suppose that if our cell is not able to uh, running, uh, not able to run the glycolysis and the carboxylic acid cycle. So in that case, our uh, cell produce energy in the form of NADPH by the help of HMP shunt or HMP pathway. This, the site is made for the cytoplasm and the pentose phosphate pathway PPP I am, uh, I am writing here the PPP in the short form it happens <coughs> it takes place into the two phases oxidative phase and the non oxidative phase in the oxidative phase the glucose 6 phosphate is converted into the ribose 5 phosphate and in the non oxidative phases the other 3 carbon 4 carbon and 7 carbon sugars are produced okay so this is a very unique pathway because uh, if we uh, you will see in the carbohydrate metabolism there is no pathway which generate the seven carbon containing monosaccharide like pseudohaptylose 7 phosphate but only this pathway can produce such type of the big monosaccharides in our body okay so this pathway can generate each and every type like the three carbon monosaccharide glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate four carbon monosaccharide like erythrose 4 phosphate and the five carbon monosaccharide that is ribose and ribulose 5 phosphate which is very much essential for the dna and rna synthesis are produced only in the this cycle so for that in that aspect also this cycle become very much important so in this session, we will discuss about the HMP pathway as well as we will discuss about the HMP significance also. And we will discuss about the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. Okay, now we will discuss about the pathway. Here, the 6 molecule of glucose 6-phosphate just produce the 6-phosphoglucanolactone and 6-phosphoglucanolactone in the presence of glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Okay, glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. Now the 6-phosphogluconolactone is converted into 6-phosphogluconate in the presence of hydrolase. Now the 6-phospho, 6 molecules of 6-phosphogluconate is converted into the 6 molecule of ribulose 5-phosphate which is the 5-carbon containing sugar, which is the 5-carbon containing sugar. So here the enzyme is the phosphogluconate dehydrogenase. Okay, now the ribulose 5-phosphate is converted into the 4 molecules, 2 plus 2 I have written, why is it so? We will discuss later. Now the 4 molecule of xylulose 5-phosphate is generated and the 2 molecule of ribose 5-phosphate is generated. Both are 5-carbon sugar. Okay, now this the ribulose 5-phosphate is converted into the xylulose 5-phosphate in the presence of epimerase and the, in the ribulo and the ribose 5-phosphate is generated with the help of ketoisomerase. Now, the 2 molecule of xylulose 5-phosphate and the 2 molecule of ribose 5-phosphate is converted into the 2 molecule of pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate and 2 molecule of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. The pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate is the 7-carbon sugar and the 3 molecule of and the, uh, and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is the 3-carbon sugar. Now, again, the remaining 2 molecule, as I have written 2 plus 2, because these initial 2 molecules are utilized for the production of the 7-carbon and 3-carbon sugar, pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate and the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. But the second, uh, the other second 2 molecules are of the xylulose 5-phosphate are utilized with the help of, are utilized with the, uh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, first, this, uh, sorry, this pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. Again, pseudoheptulose 7-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate, glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate are convert into uh, the arrow is going here, 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 and like this. Okay, like this. So here, the pseudoheptulose 7 phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate 
is convert into the two molecule of erythrospore phosphate and fructose 6 phosphate in the presence of the trans aldolase okay two molecule of erythrospore phosphate and two molecule of fructose 6 phosphate now what happen the remaining two molecule of xylulose 5 phosphate okay so remaining two molecule of xylulose 5 phosphate is utilized with the erythrospore phosphate okay and the erythrospore phosphate is the four carbon sugar and erythrospore phosphate and xylulose four five uh, phosphate just combine together and form the fructose 6 for two molecule of fructose 6 phosphate and two molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate okay now the two molecule of fructose 6 phosphate here are generated and two molecule of fructose 6 phosphate is generated by the combination of pseudoheptulose and glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate here the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate two molecule of glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate just react and form the one molecule of fructose 6 phosphate here the glyceraldehyde 3 molecules is convert into the fructose 6 phosphate now what happen you will see that one molecule of fructose 6 phosphate this way two molecule of fructose 6 phosphate this and two molecule of fructose 6 molecule these are the five five molecule of fructose 6 phosphate will convert in the help of isomerase and in the help of uh, uh, with the help of isomerase it will convert into the glucose 6 phosphate okay okay isomerase uh, with the help of isomerase it will convert into the five molecule of glucose 6 phosphate so one molecule of glucose 6 phosphate is rotated see here the six molecule we have taken and initially and lastly we got the five molecule of glucose 6 phosphate so the one molecule of the glucose is oxidized in this pathway so for the only one glucose molecule is pathway is oxidized with this type of the uh, just Uh, of this alternative pathway, which is the alternative for the glycolysis in the TCA cycle, here the main reaction or the main significance that when it will convert into the six phosphogluconate into the ribulose five phosphate, the generation of NADPH. Okay, so this is the most significance molecule because the NADPH is the having the most most significance. in the amino acid generation in the nucleotide generation in the fatty acid synthesis now we will this this is the whole pathway of the glucose 6 uh, that the atp shun or the pentose phosphate pathway okay so now we will discuss about the significance of the atp shun or the pentose phosphate pathway now come to the significance part as we have already told that it's a alternative pathway for the glycolysis and the tca cycle so it's a main significance it said it's a alternative pathway in case if the cell is un uh, unable to perform glycolysis and tca cycle so uh, any case the cell is able to generate the energy with the help of atp shunt okay so it's a alternative pathway it's a alternative it's a alternative pathway for tca cycle and carbo glycolysis cycle glycolysis cycle okay second point as we have already told that it generate the nadph and it's a main significance that it will in this cycle the nadph is generated so why the nadph is so important it act as a reducing agent in the many kind of the biosynthetic reaction so we will discuss that what kind of the biosynthetic reactions performed by the help of nadph so the second significance it that it generate the nadph okay nadph is generated which act as a reducing agent in fatty acid synthesis fatty acid biosynthesis in many many neurotransmitter biosynthesis biosynthesis okay and many uh, cholesterol molecule and the nucleotide molecules biosynthesis reactions uh, nucleotide biosynthesis 
in the uh, it will generate the cholesterol molecule synthesis fatty acid nucleotide neurotransmitters uh, that the cholesterol molecules generated and it will help to generate the many uh, sorry it will help to detoxify in the many detox uh, in the many uh, uh, many reactions uh, it help uh, in the many detoxification reactions uh, which are mediated by hydrogen peroxide what i want to say that the nadph help to neutralize many toxic reaction okay so use in the many detoxification reaction many detoxification reaction hai na Re detoxification process which are mediated by which are mediated by hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide h2o2 it's a hydrogen peroxide okay so this is the uh, hydrogen peroxide reaction so these are the importance that and the nadph used in the uh, synthesis of amino acid which are mainly uh, and um, which enzyme is involved that is the glutamate dehydrogenase okay used in the amino acid biosynthesis amino acid biosynthesis and those amino acids in which the enzyme is the glutamate dehydrogenase involving enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase glutamate dehydrogenase okay so uh, uh, that nadph is also used in the manufacture uh, help uh, nadph is used uh in the many phagocytic reaction which are performed by the w bases so uh, the next point is that help in phagocytosis of w bases phagocytosis uh in w bases okay w bases function is the phagocytic reaction so the nadph used uh, help to perform such phagocytic reactions okay and it will uh, uh, one thing is that uh, it will maintain the glutathione in the reduced form okay the glutathione uh, is uh, the reduced form of the glutathione is very much essential for the rbc integrity okay this is a main point maintain glutathione in reduced form and that reduce form and that glutathione reduce form is very much essential for maintain the rbc's membrane integrity rbc's membrane integrity okay rbc's membrane uh, that glut reduce glutathione help to uh, prevent the rupturing of the rbc membranes okay now the main thing is that nadph help to maintain the hemoglobin in the fe plus 2 uh, maintain hemoglobin mean fe plus 2 in hemoglobin hb represent for hemoglobin and prevent the formation of fe plus 3 if the fe plus 3 is formed then it will convert into the methemoglobin the hemoglobin is convert into the methemoglobin and which is very much harmful for our body okay so uh, this is the, uh, this is the nadp significance now again come to the significance of hmp pathway then it will help to break the pentose sugars and just synthesize the pentose sugar okay now the third point is that uh, generate and break down pentose sugar and pentose sugar jo hota and the pentose sugar is utilized in the form in the dna and rna okay these are the nucleotide and generate and break down of generate and break down generate and break down of 3 carbon sugar 4 carbon sugar 7 carbon sugars okay these are the and uh, these are the main and the hmp hmp synthesis or the hmp pathway is mainly active in the 
एडिपोज टिश्यूज और लाइपोजेनिक टिश्यूज ओके एच एम पी पाथवे मेनली इन लाइपोजेनिक टिश्यू सो इट विल हेल्प टू प्रोवाइड द एनर्जी फॉर द फैटी टिश्यूज लाइपोजेनिक टिश्यूज और वी कैन सेट्स अ एडिपोज टिश्यू ओके सो दिस इज होल द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द एच एम पी शन आई होप यू हैव वेरी मच क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड अबाउट द एच एम पी पाथवे मीन्स इन द एच एम पी पाथवे सिक्स मॉलिक्यूल ग्लूकोज सिक्स मॉलिक्यूल ग्लूकोज इज टेकन एंड फाइव मॉलिक्यूल्स आर रीजनरेटेड बट द वन ग्लूकोज मॉलिक्यूल इज ऑक्सीडाइज एंड बाय दिस द एन ए डी पी एच जनरेटेड एंड आई हैव डिस्कस दैट दैट वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ द एन ए डी पी एच ओके सो दिस इज द होल फॉर द एच एम पी पाथवे इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट डिहाइड्रोजिनेस डेफिशियंसी वट इज द ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट डिहाइड्रोजिनेस एज इन द फर्स्ट रिएक्शन दैट द ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट इज कन्वर्ट इन टू द सिक्स फॉस्फो ग्लूकोन इन लेक्टोन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ग्लूकोज सिक्स फॉस्फेट डिहाइड्रोजिनेस if it will not present in our cell in our cytoplasm then what happens or what reaction takes place this we will discuss in the next video hope you enjoyed my lecture any doubt kindly ask in the comment section otherwise please like share and subscribe till then bye bye thank you stay safe stay healthy bye